Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Every Thursday, I release a video on golf or how it helps your business and the massive effects that it has on your mental and physical health. Stay tuned and make sure you click subscribe. If you already haven't watched my previous video on putting fundamentals and tips, make sure you go watch that first and then come back and finish the rest of this video. Now, I'll be showing you a few more tips to help you with putting, as well as some really fun games that you can be playing in your own house. Make sure you keep watching the rest of this video, and at the very end, I would like to know who can beat my time. Keep watching the video. If you can beat my time, make sure you comment below or tag me on Instagram at Coach Cheyenne, and I would love to see what your score is. Stay tuned. In putting, one of the biggest taboos is wrists, having a lot of wrist action. That is something we don't want to do at all. So I have my 10 finger grip, I am ready to go, I'm on here and then I start to bend my left wrist and I bend my right wrist and I'm lifting my head. All of those are no. No wrists in putting. What you need to remember is it's all in your shoulders. Look at me, it's all in my shoulders. It is rocking of the shoulders. When you are doing a putting stroke, it is rocking of the shoulders. Am I using my wrists? It's a no. It's a hard no. It's rocking my shoulders. Rocking my shoulders. You don't need to lift your head at all. The rule of thumb is you should hear the ball going in. So your eyes should always be over top of the ball. The ball will have a name. I tell myself, look at the four, look at the four, look at the four, don't move your eyes, look at the four, look at the four, and then hopefully you hear the ball going in. If you don't, then after like a few seconds, you look up and you say, oh, okay, it's short, it's long, I need to regroup and putt again. But try extremely, extremely hard to keep your head down throughout your whole putting stroke, okay? So that is my hint for you. Here, a lot of people refer to your putting stroke as a pendulum. Now, a lot of you millennials and most of you Gen Z's will have no idea what a grandfather clock is. This, my friends, is a grandfather clock. Now, that rod in the middle is your pendulum. How does it work? I will give it a little tap and you will see it'll be consistent going forwards and backwards, back and forth, even back, even forward. It's just like your putting stroke. We just saw what the grandfather clock pendulum looked like. Now, on your putting stroke and on my putting mat, back and through the same amount, rocking my shoulders, taking a few practice swings, on that line okay so i am not swinging back and stopping i am being a pendulum with my shoulders no wrists and my head is not going to lift so back and through back and through my head's down my grip my gap my s is great my confidence is great and I finish, my club face finishes at the target. It doesn't stop at the six, it's a pendulum motion, it goes back and it goes through. And did I use my wrists? Nope. Did I lift my head up? Nope. I did the pendulum. So, 2% like Jack says, is technique. We have gone through all the different types of technique but remember, 2% is technique. If you can retain some of that information, amazing, try it. But the 98% is confidence. How do you get your confidence? 
You can only get your confidence if you practice, right? Practice, practice, and practice. Once you practice these different things, you can see what you feel comfortable with, what you like from what I've told you, and what you definitely don't like. Maybe the 10 finger grip is not for you. You need to try a different grip. Or, you know what, the eyes over the ball, that so works, it will work. So that is one thing you need to retain and keep with you. But if you don't practice, how can you build your confidence? So, practice, 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 Try not using your wrists, don't lift your head, and the rest of it, just breathe and pendulum, pendulum. Hope that helps. Stay tuned, let's play some games now. Enough with the fundamentals. Let's have some fun. We're stuck in our homes. I have three fun games coming for you. On the wooden floor, if you have it. If you have carpet, you can do it. And the bonus game is on the mat right here. If you only have wooden floors in your house, not a problem at all, you can play golf bowling. So, if you have a bunch of tees, put them upside down like this, spread them apart. You should grab your ball. You should have a starting line on where you're gonna start from. So I will actually use this, but I can also have a T. Then I will line my ball up. If you can knock all of the T's down, you get 10 points. And then the next person goes. Okay. Fun putting game number two. Now, in your house, if you have only carpet, I will show you a fun little game. But before I show you this game, I have to give a shout out to Coach Megan um, and the Central Florida First Tee. I actually got this from them. I see that they're doing a little challenge at the moment. They have their American $1 bills. But since I'm in Canada, you know, you can use either a fiver or our $10 or whatever you have in your house. Use the cash. Place it wherever you would like on your carpet. Now, you don't have money laying around. Don't worry. You can use an envelope. If you don't have an envelope, you can have a much bigger target if you'd like. A piece of paper or cut it in half and place it as your target. So you have plenty of options. This one seems difficult, and it actually is. Let's try. I will use maybe the $10 bill since it likes staying a little bit flatter than the five. I will, I actually have a ball marker, which in my previous video on the 10 items you need in your golf bag, ball marker is one of them. So I will actually use that as the starting point. And from there, I will putt twice and try and land this ball on that $10 bill. On any part, it needs to roll and stop on the $10 bill. Now, if you're in the house and you like to gamble, whoever lands on the bill first gets to keep it. Or if you wanna keep it kid friendly, then you can, you know, just play and keep track of points. That swing through. Woo! Just short. Let's try that again. Probably need to aim a little bit left. My gap is perfect. Here comes my pendulum. Ooh, crushed it. So, like I said, it's a lot harder than you think. Give it a try. Comment below with a thumbs up if you were the winner at this game. The last and final game. My dad and I are going to be on the same team. You can play this by yourself, but since we're a competitive family, it'll be my dad and myself versus my brother and my mom. <laughs> so this is how you play. You have a timer that we will start in a second. This game is strictly based on time, okay? 
what you will do is depend on how many balls you have. So we have four balls. We are going to start from three, four, five, and six. Okay? Depends on who wants to go first. I'll let him go first. If my dad makes the first shot in the hole, then I will hit the second shot. If he does not make the first shot, then I will hit from the three foot mark. We will keep alternating until somebody gets that ball in. You can't move to the next ball unless you get that ball in. And it's obviously timer based. So whoever gets all four balls in, whichever team gets all four balls in first wins. Here we go. So I will press start and my dad will go first and then we will alternate. Papa, ready? Also, right. we're the funky socks club over here going on. All right, get set, go. Nice. He got three in, so it's now it's my turn on the four. Yes, we got four in. Come on, Papa. 12 seconds in. Okay, nope. So number five. Yes, number six, come on. 26 seconds in, who's gonna beat us? Nails it, 31 seconds. Woo! Okay, the challenge is on. Who can beat 31 seconds? If you can, tag me on Instagram. Let's see it. Don't cheat, make sure you have the timer on. We got 31, but I was too slow to stop it. So either way, make sure you tag us. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to click subscribe and click the like button if any of my tips were helpful. I hope you really do try and play at least one of the three putting games. Make sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook at Coach Cheyenne. You will see the tag above. Click subscribe, and I really look forward to connecting with all of you.